Scary Tale from Home Alone. Hey guys, my name is Mo Fami, and this is my second video of telling you guys my childhood stories. This is one of the stories that I will never gonna forget. Let's start. I was consistently a peaceful youngster, cherished computer games, geeky, and I had never at any point kissed a young lady. Despite the fact that my parents were divorced, I always enjoyed going to my dad's house. He was always the cool and fun parent, but he also worked a lot, so when I went to visit him, most of the time I was alone at home. My room was in the upstairs portion of his house, which was relatively large and had a large sunroom down the hall. I generally cherished being in the sunroom and watching blood and gore flicks and playing with the canines. A fence was right outside the door of the sunroom, which also had a connection to the outside. We even ordered pizza one day after going to my dad's house and had a fun day playing video games. However, of course, needed to work at night. I carried out my usual actions, including sitting up straight on the sunroom couch and watching a movie. As a child, the thought of someone unwelcome entering my home was my greatest fear. Even though the two dogs we had weren't really considered guard dogs, having them around made me feel safe and protected. However, this evening the canines were at my grandmother's home for God understands what reason. I quickly fell asleep on the couch after watching a few movies. I was oddly awoken to squeaks in the floor right above me coming from higher up. I tried to watch more television because I was always worried about this and quickly put it down to the old house noises. However, the creaking continued. Additionally, the power went out abruptly due to a freak accident. This isn't happening, I moaned. The house as a whole was completely dark. I understood that the squeaking appeared to be gradually descending the old wooden steps. My primary apprehension had come true. However, the sluggish steps abruptly stopped and I heard a full-on sprinting sound coming from the darkness in my direction. I bounced and ran for the entryway, and when I pummeled the entryway behind me, I jumped over the wall and advanced over to the neighbor's house. However, before I thumped on the entryway, I took one final look at the house. In the higher up window, I saw the most unnerving and twisted face I had at any point found in my life. The kind neighbors contacted the police after I knocked on the door. I concluded that he must have tampered with our fuse box when I noticed that their house had not lost power. When the police arrived, they searched the house thoroughly but found nothing. And that horrible, distorted face I saw in that window is the one thing I still see every time I close my eyes. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.